How you doing today? I'd like you all to meet Alex Velasquez. He's the culinary operations leader for Chatters. He's the expert on everything that goes so. on. Alex is going to take you all in the back and show you a little bit about the magic that goes on in Cheddar's restaurant. Cool. Sounds good. We're here with uh, Alex Velasquez, culinary operations leader of uh, Cheddar's Casual Cafe. Uh, so Alex, how long have you worked here? I've worked with Cheddar's for about 18 years now. 18 years, that's pretty long. Um, what's it like working here? Um, Amazing. It, it, I couldn't have a better job. I actually started waiting tables here when I was 18 years old, kind of worked my way through the ranks. Um, and like you said, I'm culinary operations leader, so the gentleman you all just met, Steve Goodwin, he's vice president of the culinary operations. Um, he's in charge of all culinary operations for Cheddar's, and I assist him. Um, but it, it's just absolutely amazing. It's, uh, I couldn't see myself sitting behind a desk eight hours a day. And some of the days are longer than others. Um, you know, when we do new restaurant openings, we opened up 12 restaurants last year. The hours, you'll go sometimes uh, 12, 14, 16 hour days, uh, but it's very rewarding to take an operation that 176 employees that know absolutely nothing about our concept when we go into some of these different towns um, and, and open them up and you have six days to basically teach them everything there, there is. Uh, it, it's just so rewarding at the end of the day to kind of walk away from there. Uh, the restaurant we're in actually um, opened up about a month and a half ago, two months ago, and every employee in here, no one knew anything about Cheddar's. They heard of it, but they didn't know anything about the operation. So my job is to kind of come in and, and help train and facilitate that. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, the title Culinary Operations Leader, uh, what does that really mean, basically? <laughs> uh, jokingly, I tell everyone I'm the head dishwasher. But no, we do uh, menu development. Um, right now we're in the process of, of introducing 13 new menu items, um, something that we've never done before. So part of my job is to come in uh, with Steve, that, uh, once again, that we just met. And uh, we come up, we start with nothing. We start with a blank canvas. People tell us what they want to eat uh, through feedback and comment cards. People tell us what they want to eat, what's popular right now. And you know, we, we start from zero. We start from nothing and we try to put items together. That's part of my job. The new restaurant openings, again, is another thing as well. Um, I help with daily operations coming into the restaurants and helping when things aren't exactly 100%. Um, how do we get them there? How, how do we help them to better understand what the process is? Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to ask, what's your favorite item on the menu, if you had to choose? <laughs> my favorite item on the menu, this is a... This is an interesting one. I, I think one of my favorites would have to be the chicken pot pie. As simple as it is, uh, we, we make everything uh, from scratch in-house. Every item that we have on our menu is made fresh daily. Um, but the chicken pot pie is something about it. Like I said, it's a very simple dish. But I guess part of it is just I remember as a little kid eating pot pies, and it just kind of takes me back to that. Um, we bake them fresh, to order, and they're just absolutely amazing. Uh, we, we obviously have all kinds of things on our menu, uh, from ribs to, to nacho salads, great salads. but. I always go back to the pot pie. I probably eat more pot pies in a year than I have eaten everything else combined. Sounds cool. Uh, all right, well, I heard you're going to take us around back and see what's going on there. Yeah, I'll take you um, through the back really quick. We'll start kind of in the dish area, I'll, and I'll just kind of take you through the operations, how we hold everything. Um, you'll get to see a little bit of the line. It is a live kitchen right now, so there are uh, folks back there working. We'll just kind of weave, a, a weave around them, but I'll, I'll take you back. If you have questions along the way, um, if you want to ask at that point, or if you want to wait until we finish and then sit down, if you, if you want to ask then, it might be a little loud back there, so you, you make that call. Okay, sounds good. Let's our coolers about 38 degrees. Um, the standard is 40, but we like to keep ours around 38. Just give us a couple of uh, couple of degrees there to work with. 
Alright, sounds good. We'll walk by through here again. And this the back of this kitchen right here, we have some of just some of some of the items that we use. A slicer right here. This is our mixer where we mix most of our products in here, like mashed potatoes and things like that. We continue to walk through here, and this is a service area right here. This is where we actually do all of the line cooking, where all the plates are prepared. We have our fry station here where everything is actually battered from scratch. So when you do order, um, it, it's made, when you order chicken tenders or cheddars, they're made one by one. When you order the catfish, fried catfish, it's battered. Nothing is pre-made here. Everything is done to order. And I'll take you through really quick, right through the line. Yum. This is our salad station right here where we make all of our salads. This is our expediter area right here where we do most of our appetizers. Our desserts come out of this area as well. See the fresh products here that are made daily. We have a couple of fryers on this side as well. We have what we call our set station right here. This is where all the this is where everything is plated up, where everything comes together. And this gentleman that works here is responsible for putting the last of the side dishes on there and then selling them in this window right here. So every item is sold together um, at one time as opposed to miscellaneous pieces and parts. Our char broilers over here on this side where we do a lot of our chicken items and we do our steaks and ribs. Over here is our flat top where we do most of our sandwich, fish, and burgers. Our bun station is right here. This is where we heat up our buns. And then the, south, the uh, sandwich prep area is over here. We're going to walk over this area over here. This is where we heat up some of our items as well. If you walk through here, there's more prep area right here. And then walking around the back over here, this is where all of our uh, items are prepped. Like I said earlier um, up front, everything that we do is made from scratch in-house. All of our sauces, all of our soups are made and like you would have a small skillet or pan at home, these are ours right here. Our smokers here where we smoke our ovens um, every day. We sometimes in some of our restaurants go to through uh, three or four rotations of ovens a day and they're actually, it takes about four and a half hours to prep those and in our large ovens right here as well. our freezer in here where we keep most of our frozen or all of our frozen products these are the items we don't keep a lot frozen just like ice cream things that have to be kept frozen is all that we keep in here um, but most of our items like I said once they come in they go directly into the uh, in, to be processed into the coolers and obviously we have to keep backups of this is all our chicken right here that we use french fries back here frozen products that come in like this now I said the other place is cold but this is how, how cold is this place? This uh, this cooler in here is anywhere between zero and negative ten degrees. Yeah, I can feel it. This is going to be the manager's office, and obviously we don't like our managers to spend a whole lot of time in here, but this is where they do their paperwork, where they come in in the morning, they um, do all of the press sheets through here, where they do cash outs and things of that nature. Uh, all the administrative stuff is done through here. Uh, they do invoices as well, um, coding invoices, and sending them to the office to make sure that our bills get paid. Kind of important sometimes. Okay. Cool. Let's head back.